Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my coffee bar setup. So I've gotten a few questions about where a couple things are from. So everything I share with you guys today will be linked in the description box down below. This coffee bar was the first thing that I set up when we first moved into the house. I've put so much thought into this. The coffee bar is always evolving, always changing. We're always adding new items to the setup. Soon we're gonna need to get a bigger one because I feel like it's getting overfilled already. But regardless, let me show you guys the setup. So I want to start off with these cups. I've gotten a lot of questions about where these cups are from and they're actually from Target. These are the Project 62 16 ounce glass cups. I think they were $10 for four. I love these cups. I have two sets. I really like the way these look. They, I don't know, just all around great cups. Okay, so starting off with the shelf itself. This shelf is from Amazon. Um, I really wanted something with different tiers. So like, especially that portion up there. I feel like the different levels just add a bit of dimension to it rather than it just being one flat shelf. So starting with the top shelf, this is kind of where I just put all of my espresso shot cups. I feel like this layer is probably the one that's changed the most. I used to have like a succulent and the succulent died, but now it's just espresso cups. So these white ones are actually cappuccino cups from Nespresso. Um, they were doing a promotion where you buy 15 sleeves and they send you these two cappuccino cups with saucers. So of course I had to buy 15 sleeves of Nespresso pods. And the glass shot cups next to them are also from Nespresso. When you first order 10 sleeves of Nespresso pods, they will send you a welcome gift. We actually got the original welcome gift set instead of the Virtuo. And if I'm being honest, I'm kind of glad that they sent us the wrong one on accident. Um, we have a lot of full-size cups, but we didn't have any espresso shot cups, so these turned out super cute. This wooden shelf up here, I believe, is from the dollar section of Target. There might still be some left, I'm honestly not too sure, but definitely check out the dollar section at Target. And these two espresso shot cups are from Amazon. They are double-walled, and this does look kind of big, but it honestly only really fits one espresso shot. Um, when it is filled, they look so cool. This is actually a spice jar. I think this comes in a set of 20. I had a few left over after I re-canned my spices, so I just took one of these for um, random espresso powder. And now onto the next level. So I did want a shelf that was layered, so I kind of bought this whole shelf around our Nespresso machine. So since the Nespresso machine does lift up at the top quite a bit of ways, we needed something that wasn't going to get in the way of the machine. This shelf worked out perfectly. We've had the Nespresso machine for about a little over a year. It's probably the most used appliance in our house. Love it. And next to it is our milk frother. This is the Arachino. Um, they came with the Nespresso machine. It's really convenient. When we want some frothed milk, we just kind of open the lid, pour it in, and then just press the button and it does its own thing. So this pod holder, I actually replaced our old one with this one when we moved into the house. Um, I used to have one that only held like 20 pods and it was just honestly more inconvenient than it was convenient. Each row can hold basically every single size that they offer. Next to that, I have my syrup 
pump bottles the original bottles of syrup are huge i didn't want to have the whole thing out all at once so this allows for me to leave a little bit out at a time and it is a lot more convenient they're actually i think soap dispensers but it works great for syrups as well and yes these are tape handwritten labels they look the same so i needed something to differentiate the two and next to that we have a thing of biscottis um these containers are i think like acrylic pencil containers technically but i think this works great for like straws spoons and biscottis it only holds four biscottis total so it's not the biggest but it still works over here i have this stack of mugs these were actually a gift from a really good friend of mine i believe she got these from home goods i will try and link a similar one and down here we have straws and spoons so these are actually glass straws i have tried metal straws i hated them i have tried agave straws they're fine but they're not reusable and i thought i'd give glass straws a try and i honestly really like these um they are kind of thick but it's not to the point where you feel like you're drinking too much liquid at once i wanted to keep a set of spoons on the coffee bar just for convenience sake down here we have a pull out drawer um we kind of just keep extra pods in here and then below that we have the vietnamese iced coffee fin filter um i got this from the asian grocery store but there's a lot of options on amazon we love making vietnamese iced coffee it is a bit of a hassle sometimes but but it's okay it's delicious next to that i have just a random jar of jasmine tea that we brought back from china these plates are actually the saucers from the cappuccino cups they didn't fit at the top shelf so i put them down here below the fin filter and it works out fine and of course we have the seven and me mocha coffee pot and milk frother below that we just have the extra nespresso sleeves that we haven't opened yet back up here this is the tea shelf um this is all things tea so back there these two are just random tea leaves that i think we bought from the asian grocery store at this point they're honestly just there to be there and of course in the middle we have the matcha powder this is from Costco, but I will link Amazon options below. And this matcha set was gifted, but again, I will link a similar one. Of course, the bamboo spoon, the bowl, the whisk holder, and the whisk. I do like to keep my matcha whisk inside the container it came with. I don't really want this to get dirty and then this is a dispenser for loose leaf tea so you would put the tea leaves and water in here and then you would set this on top of a cup and it automatically dispenses the tea for you and then down here it's honestly just kind of like a miscellaneous shelf um it kind of just is a shelf for overflowed stuff we even have a like coffee shelf in the fridge um these are just like milks and our sweet cream i do like to keep like the white chocolate sauce the caramel and dark chocolate sauce and of course sweet and condensed milk in the fridge these do say they don't need to be refrigerated but just for like i guess my peace of mind i do like to keep them in the fridge but yeah i think that's gonna be it for today's video if i miss something definitely let me know and i'll link it for you guys i know it's a little excessive it's kind of ridiculous but i love it it doesn't hurt anybody if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and as as always thank you guys so so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next week bye guys